All right, let's go ahead and pop out the sim tray. Okay, so to take the back off, you have a lot of strong adhesive, so you're just gonna have to heat up the back and use your plastic pry tool to work your way around the back of the phone. We're now ready to take the back off. On the top portion of the phone, there are seven Phillips screws we need to remove. Now, once those screws are removed, we're gonna lift up and remove the plastic cover. We're gonna first disconnect the battery cable by popping it up. Next, go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. You have one cable over here for the bottom camera. Let's move these cables out of the way. We also have two wire cables over here in the corner. Go ahead and disconnect those. Let's go ahead and remove this camera on the bottom. Now let's peel off this tape. Now we have two more cables to disconnect for the sensors as well as one for the front facing camera. There's a single Phillips screw left holding down the main board. Let's go ahead and remove that. Now we can go ahead and remove the main board. You have two thermal pads over here underneath the board. Removing the thermal pads reveals a vapor chamber over here sitting on top of a heat pipe underneath. You also have a circular milled out area over here. The center is hollow, it goes straight through. So I'm assuming the thermal pad transfers some of the heat to where the aluminum is over here and transfers it throughout the frame. Now once you remove the shield on the front part of the board, here's the chips underneath it. And there are two chips that are covered with the thermal pad. I'll go ahead and remove that right now. Here's a look at them with the thermal pads removed. Now the top three cameras are connected from the back side of the board. Just go ahead and disconnect them. The bottom camera has the image stabilization. Now here's the back side of the main board. And here it is with the shields removed. On the bottom, there are eight more Phillips screws we need to remove. Okay, so now let's remove the cover of the speaker assembly. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect this cable and get it out of the way. You also have this cable over here connected right here. Disconnect that. So this cable over here is your screen cable. It connects to the other cable which redirects all the way up to the main board. And over here you have your in-display fingerprint reader. Let's go ahead and disconnect that. Now in order to remove the fingerprint reader, you're going to have to pry it off. It's sitting in a circular spot right above the vibrator motor. Now I don't want to pry it off to the risk damaging it, but it is user replaceable. You have two more wire cables over here. Go ahead and disconnect those. We also have a single Phillips screw holding on the charger port board. We're going to go ahead and remove that. Once that screw is out, let's go ahead and remove the charger port board. So here's the charger port board right here. One good thing about this is the SIM reader is right on the back of this, so both are replaceable. So in case you ever damage your SIM slot or the pins inside a break, as well as your charger port right here, it's gonna be an easy part to replace. Okay, so with all the latest models of Motorola and Lenovo phones, the battery is extremely difficult to replace. I'm assuming it's something Lenovo has implemented in the Motorola phones, but basically you have two strong adhesive tapes underneath and prying it off is difficult. You're gonna to need to apply some heat and use a plastic card or something thin to be able to work your way underneath it. 
It took me about 30-35 minutes to gently pry the battery off so I don't damage it. Here are the specs on the battery. Also the power button and the volume button cable is over here and it's round through beneath where the mid frame is and the screen. So if you want to replace that you're going to have to pry the screen off to be able to get access to removing the cable. And same thing for the heat pipe that runs underneath over here. It goes in between the screen and the mid frame. So you'd have to pry the screen off to be able to get access to that heat pipe. If you're looking to replace the screen, here's the screen cable over here. It slides through the mid frame and you're going to have to heat up to the front of the display. And then you're going to use your plastic pry tool to pry the screen off from the frame. Okay, now the fun part, let's go ahead and reassemble the phone. Now go ahead and apply some new adhesive and then go ahead and put your back plate back over. Flip it around, power on the phone. And you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe and click on the bell notification icon so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in the next video.